Hi, artists. Hi, artists. <laughs> Hi, artists. Hi, artists. Hi, artists. I'm in my basement at home. Hi, artists. <laughs> so I was... artists. Hi. I have started this video 10 times and I keep, I don't know, I keep messing up. It's so much easier to talk to all of you when I'm standing in front of you in my classroom and I really miss doing that. So this is the struggle. Okay, I'm just going to keep going here this time. I'm not going to press stop. <laughs> so I'm in my basement and I have my own studio space down here. Um, I am inspired by Jasper Johns. Let's make some artwork. I, let's make some artwork inspired by Jasper Johns. And Jasper Johns used all of those layered letters and numbers. Um, the numbers, letters and numbers. Used letters and numbers to and how he used letters and numbers in his artwork. And he overlapped his letters and numbers. He layered them. Letters and numbers. He used letters and numbers to create works of art that really had nothing to do with words or language and uh, <laughs> okay um i am inspired by jasper johns let's make some artwork i have uh an excellent supply that i hope a lot of you will find at home it is a frozen pizza box um i have a whole bunch actually because what i did was i went into my freezer and I just unboxed the frozen pizzas. Actually, they take up a lot less space that way. And um, they are great because they're big and they're thick cardboard. If you don't have frozen pizza boxes, you could use uh, cereal boxes. Those would work great too. And if you don't have either of those things, just use whatever paper you have. You just make these art lessons work for you. Okay. I also have markers on hand. You could have a combination of... Um, Crayola style markers which are water soluble and you can also have a, um, a sharpie if you're allowed to do that. Mom and dad they've been trained to use sharpies with me even kindergarten has used sharpies and then the other thing I have is everyone's got some sidewalk chalk. My sidewalk chalk is in a broken planter and uh, the sidewalk chalk we're going to get all nice and messy with. So you got to make sure you cover your tables today. Okay, let's make some artwork. This is the best flavor. Even if you don't love spinach. Oh my gosh. This one, I get it. Um, Edica. And I love it. It is my favorite. Try it. Okay. First thing you should do is trim your box so that you have two large squares and all these little extra flaps have been removed. So let's trim it up. Now I printed uh, one of the letters from the lesson. If you wanna draw your own, you can. Um, try to make it as big as a piece of paper so that it will be nice and big on your box. Go ahead and cut it out, do a careful job. and set this aside so it's ready to go in a few minutes okay i have two cardboard squares left from my pizza box i'm gonna use one of them for now i am gonna take some dark value markers dark value we've done this before dark would be black and brown any of your violet colors blue and then the other ones are getting kind of medium so let's see turquoise and green and red i'll go into the medium category um they're in between and then what oh and gray too gray can all usually end up with the darks and then those yellows oranges pinks they end up a bit lighter okay so dark values black browns blues violets I am going to start 
just writing some letters. I, you can go ahead and do the alphabet. If you don't know, you could do words if you want. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do the alphabet. And I'm gonna just make it random. It doesn't have to be perfect. I can start with the letter A really small, and I can do a large B. Then I'm gonna fill around my alphabet with just some areas of color and I'm not gonna worry about coloring it perfect. I just wanna fill up a lot of my space quickly. Turn your box to help you fill up spaces easier. Okay, take a paper towel, fold it into a small square, and dip it into a little bit of water. Drag this gently across. You don't want drips of water. Drag it gently across your letters and let them bleed together. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, now take your letter that you cut out ahead of time and place it onto your box. It could still be wet. It's actually really good if it is. You'll see why in a moment. When you pick out your chalk, pick a color that you didn't put in your background. So I have a lot of blues and greens. I could do a pink. I think I will look for pink. Pink or purple. I'll do a pink. Okay, now... Very important. Two things. Number one, you hold your cutout letter still. If you move it around, this won't work very well. And number two, when you move your chalk, always move from the paper to the cardboard. Always in that direction. If you try to go from cardboard to paper, you're going to push your chalk and start to tear and move your paper around. So watch how I do. Start on the paper, pull onto the cardboard. Do you see how I use my whole hand to hold it still? Don't try to just use a little finger, it's gonna slide all over. Use your whole hand and as you pull your chalk, do it close to where you're holding it. Okay, let's see what it looks like. I'm gonna take my letter off, whoa, that looks good. Okay couple of things you noticed, I filled up all of the space that was left over when my K was covering that. I didn't leave any open spaces. If you want to try leaving some open, you could just to see what it looks like, but I went all the way off the edge of mine. And notice too that I turned my paper to make it more comfortable because I always wanted to go from paper to cardboard, so I turned it whenever I needed to to make sure my hand was moving in the right direction. So you can leave it like that, or you can do a little smudging and rubbing. Because the cardboard is a little bit wet, it makes the chalk less dusty, but you're still gonna get a little bit. So you're gonna have to do a little tap into the garbage can when you're done. So a couple others that I did. This one I did with a K that I had cut out I drew my own letter instead of using the printout. So if you love drawing your own letters, do that. Um, these two I did, and these were not wet. I did these dry, and it works fine. It's not quite as, um, the chalk isn't quite as, it's not covering as much um, as the wet ones did. I think the wet ones I, I enjoyed much more. Um, I also noticed that when I got the background wet, the marker looks a lot cooler to me. So you have to pick your own style and maybe you do one of each, one dry and one wet and see which one you like better.